A and B are integers such that B is less than 100. And A minus B squared equal to A plus B. Find the value of A and B. So, if I rewrite the first equation, I can say A minus B squared equal to A plus B. For finding this, A minus B squared, we have identity. That A minus B, and you should memorize, it is A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. And the right hand side is A plus B. Now I take all things to the left hand side. A squared minus 2B, 2AB plus B squared. We had this on left hand side. Now we take A and B to left hand side. It will be negative A minus B equal to 0. Now. I want to, how we can solve A and B here? I want to watch this equation as a quadratic function in terms of A. So if I consider that, I can say, okay, it is degree two, it is degree one in terms of A, and it is the constant term in terms of A three lines. So I can say it is A squared plus A, if we factor from A minus two B, this one and this one, minus one. And now I want to focus on this part, the constant term, b squared, and this part, minus b equal to zero. Now, for solving this, I should know quadratic function and quadratic formula. So, there is a theorem. If ax squared, this a is not related to the a that we have in the assumption. Ax squared plus bx plus c. If it is zero, it is a quadratic function in terms of x. x is negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I want to apply it here. So I say a equal here. Our function is in terms of it. The coefficient here is 1. Coefficient here is negative 2b minus 1. And the constant term like this like coefficient here, a, b, c. So if you apply this quadratic formula here, negative b, it will be negative, negative 2b minus 1, plus minus square root of b squared here, this is squared, and here it will be this is squared. So it will be negative 2b minus 1 squared minus 4, a is 1, the coefficient here, c is b squared minus b all over 2a and a here sorry is 1 so 2 times 1 which is 2 now i should simplify this formula let's simplify in next page okay the formula is this let's consider the thing inside the square root okay calculate that negative 2b minus 1 squared minus 4 times b squared minus b because it is a square you can multiply this by negative 1 because it has no fx sign in perfect square both of them 2b plus 1 squared minus 4 you can multiply 4 by this and this minus 4b squared plus 4b now i should calculate this you should use important formula. Let me write in terms of x and y because we have a, b, it's a little better. x plus y squared, you should memorize this formula. It's x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So if you apply it here, it will be 2b squared plus 2 times 2b times 1 plus 1 squared. And the rest is minus 4b squared plus 4b. So if I expand, it will be 4b squared. I calculate this plus 4b. 1 squared is 1 minus 4b squared plus 4b. Negative 4b squared, 4b squared will be canceled. It will be 8b plus 1. So if I rewrite equation that I determine with a star and replace inside the square root with 8b plus 1. So a equal to. If you apply this negative here, it will be 2b plus 1 plus minus square root of 8b plus 1 
all over 2. So here we know 8b plus 1 should be a perfect square because 8 and b are integers. 8b squared should be a perfect square. Let's consider it t squared. And the assumption, it says b is less than 100. So we understand it is less than 100. And 8b plus 1 is odd. So if I want to calculate this, I can check, okay, t squared is can be 1, the only cases. So b will be 0. B cannot be negative because if B is negative, we know T squared. It should be at least zero. T squared can be one because it is odd or nine or three squared, five squared, 25, seven squared, 49, nine squared, 81. We have these eight cases, uh, one, two, three, four, five cases. If T is one squared, then B is zero. If T squared is nine, then b will be 1 to create 9. If t squared 25 minus 124, look, if 8b plus 1 is 25, you subtract by 1, 8b 24, and then you divide by 8, it will be b equal to 24 over 8, which is 3. So it is 3. The next one, similarly, 49 minus 1, 48 over 8 will be 6. 81 minus 180 over 8, which will be 10. So we have these five cases. Now, in each case, I should calculate A. So let's go to next page. So let's calculate here. It will be 2B plus 1 plus minus. We said 8B plus 1 is T squared. We found loss of generality. T is at least 0. Plus minus T all over 2. Let me write. Okay. So let's check. In the first case, B is 0. And let's write like this. B is 0. This is first case. B is 0. T is 1. And A is what? If we use this formula, it will be 2B plus 1 which will be 2 times 0 plus 1 plus minus t, 1 over 2. 2 times 0 is 0, so it will be 1 plus minus 1 over 2. 1 plus 1 over 2 is 1, 1 minus 1 over 2 is 0. So a will be 1 and 0. Let's check. Okay, let's erase case 1. Let's focus on case 2. Case 2. b is 1. T squared is 9, so T is 3. So A will be 2B plus 1 plus minus 3 all over 2. So it will be 3, 2 times 1, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus minus 3 over 2. And it will be what? 3 plus 3 over 2 is 3 minus 0. So if B is 1, T is 3. A and B or A is, can be 3 and 0. So we've considered second case. Now let's consider third case. In third case, B is 3 and T is 5 and A is what? 2B plus 1. It is 2 times 3 plus 1 plus minus t all over 2. It is 2 times 3, 6, plus 1, 7, 7, plus minus 5, all over 2. 7 plus 5, 12 over 2, 6, minus 5, 2 over 2, 1. So 6 and 1. So we've calculated the third case. Two cases are left. Let's focus on case 4. B is 6. T, T squared is 49, so T is 7. So A is 2B plus 1, 2 times 6 plus 1, plus minus T, which is 7, all over 2. 2 times 6, 12, plus 1, 13. It will be 13, plus minus 7, all over 2. 13 plus 7, 20 over 2, and 13 minus 7, 6 over 2. It will be 10 and 3. The last case is when b equal to 10. 
So if we replace with 10 in the fifth case and last case, we can say P is 10, T is, uh, it is 81, sorry. Because if you consider 10, 81, so T is 9. So A will be equal to 2 times B plus 1 plus minus T, which is 9, all over 2. It will be 21 plus minus 9 over 2. 21 plus 9, 30. 30 over 2, 15. And 12 over 2, 6. So we have these cases. And now we should check all of these cases. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We found 10 answers. And now we should check all these 10 answers to make sure it is correct. So please consider subscribing while we are solving the problem. A minus B squared equal to A plus B. So, okay, so A minus B squared should be A plus B. And our A and B are what? A, B. B is 0, A is 1 and 0. So, 1, 0, 0, 0. B is 1, A is 3, 0. So, 1, 3, 1, 0 for B1. B is 3, A is 6 and 1. So, 1, 3, 1, 6. Let's check. Oh, sorry. So, let's, because I've considered first here. Okay, so let's consider the case B is 1, A is 3, 0. So 3, 0, B is 1. Now, B is 3, A is 6 and 1. 6 and 1, it is 3. Now, B is 6, A is 10 and 3. 10, 6, 3, 6. B is 10, A is 15 and 6. 15 and 6, and the next one is 10. So if we consider A minus B squared, A plus B for each case. If I want to fill it, A minus B squared, let's go to our page. A minus B squared is 1. And the next one, A plus B is 1. Here is 0, 0. 3 minus 1 squared is 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. Is correct? Correct, correct. It should be equal. 1, the difference squared 1, it is 1, correct. 6 minus 3, 3 squared is 9. It is also 9, correct. 1 minus 3 squared 4, 1 plus 3, 4. 10 minus 6 squared is 16. 10 plus 6 is 16. 6 minus 3 squared 9. 6 plus 3, 9. 15 minus 10 squared is 25. 10, 15 plus 10, 25, correct. 10 minus 6, 4 squared, 16, 10 plus 6, 16. So we found 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We found 10 solutions for this problem. And please don't forget to subscribe. There are some important, let me write homework for you. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. And if you want to learn important ideas that are useful in Olympiad and other exams in geometry, combinatorics, algebra, number theory, calculus, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. The homework is A cubed minus B cubed is A plus B cubed, or let me say A plus B squared is better. So you can comment your answers below this video. If you had other solutions for this problem, again, as I said, you can comment below this video and you can use my other videos, my other playlists to improve your problem solving. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day and bye.